In this video, we will learn about components of LAN, that is repeater, hub, switch, bridge and router from domain 4. CRM covers following components of LAN. They are very important for CISA exam. Easiest way to understand these components is to know at which OSI layer they operate. Higher the layer, more intelligent the device will be. Hub and repeater they operate from layer 1. So they have very limited functionalities. Switch and bridge they operate from data link layer and they have more capability than hub. Router they operate from network layer, layer 3, and they have more capability as compared to switch and bridge. The CISA aspirant must be aware of all this kind of device and at what OSI layer they operate. Let us understand about repeater. Dictionary meaning? Person or thing that repeats something. In telecommunication, a repeater is an electronic device that receives a signal and retransmits it. They are used to extend transmissions so that the signal can cover longer distances or be received on the other side of obstruction. They compensate for the signals that are distorted due to a reduction of signal strength during transmission. Now let us understand about two important devices, hub and switch. So for exam purpose remember this, H stands for Haman that is dumb and switch stands for smart. But keep this fact in mind, Haman is not actually dumb. This is only for your exam purpose. So what I want to say is hub is a dumb device which is much smarter version of hub. Let us understand how hub is dumb and switch is smarter. Let us take one example. So when hub is used and we have multiple computers. So, we have one message that is intended for computer A. But hub being dumb, it will forward message to all the computers. Even though message is intended for computer A, it will be forwarded to all the computers. This will unnecessarily cause high traffic and bandwidth. But let us see what switch does again same example message will be sent to only intended recipient so b and c will not receive this message this is the difference between switch and hub so again hub and switch Hub connects many devices together for exchange of data. Switch is more advanced intelligent version of a hub. Hub broadcasts message to all the connected devices whether they require it or not. Switch send message to only required device. Collusions occur commonly in setups using hubs. No collusion occurs. Hub cannot learn or store MAC address. Switch stores MAC addresses in a lookup table. So hubs are classified as layer 1 that is physical layer of OSI module. Switch operates at layer 2 data link layer of OSI model. Let us understand what is router. They are again more intelligent version of switch as it operates from layer 3, that is network layer. 
by examining the IP address, router can make intelligent decision to direct the packet to its destination. Network segments linked by a router, however, remain logically separate and can function as independent networks. So, router being intelligent device can block the broadcast information, can block the traffic to unknown addresses. Let us understand the difference between router and layer 2 switch. Router operates at network layer that is layer 3 where is switch operated layer 2 that is data link layer. Router reads IP address where is switch works on MAC address. So let us understand how router works. We have two different independent network network A network B. Router is used to connect this independent network. So any computer from network A can send message to network B and network B can send message to network A through router. Now let us understand what is bridge. They are similar to layer 2 switch. They work at data link layer of OSI layers, layer 2. So, they work on MAC address and not IP address. They have capacity to store frames and act as a storage and forward device. So, this was one of the CISA questions. Difference between bridge and switch. Mostly same, only thing is that bridge contains only few ports for LAN connectivity, whereas switch can contain many ports for LAN connectivity. So again, very important point to remember from CISA exam point of view. Hub operates at which layer? Layer 1, physical layer, switch, data link layer, layer 2, bridge, Again, data link layer that is layer 2 and router network layer that is layer 3. Important point to note down. So this is what we learned till now. Very important from CISA exam point of view. You need to learn at which OSI layer each device work and how they work on the basis of MAC address or IP address. So let us discuss some questions. Which of the following devices has the capacity to store frames and act as a storage and forward device? Hub operates at which of the following OSI layer? Layer 1, physical layer. It is very important for CISA aspirant to understand different layer at which different devices are operating. Hub physical layer, switch data link, bridge data link, router network layer and gateway application layer. Switch operates at which of the following OSI layer? Data link layer. Bridge operates at which of the following OSI layer? Again, data link layer.
router operates at which of the following OSI layer. Network layer. So, which of the following is the most intelligent device? Hub, layer 1, layer 2, switch layer 2, bridge layer 2 and router layer 3. By examining the IP address, which of the following device can make intelligent decision to direct the packet to its destination? Router operates at network layer. Bridge and switch works at MAC address and hub has no such capability. Thanks for watching. For more such video, please visit CISAExamStudy.com.